Hi guys, I'm Anshita. I'm the founder of Fix My Curls. We are a curly and wavy hair care brand that helps you embrace your natural hair texture. And if your is confused about sulfates, the good, the bad, the ugly, should we use them, should we not, then you've clicked on the right video. So let's start with the most common question. What are sulfates? Sulfates are basically cleansing agents, something that you use to help cleanse dirt off your body, your scalp, your face. So basically your shampoos, your face washes, your body washes, these all have the most common sulfates that are known as sodium laureate sulfate. This is the most common sulfate that is used. It's not too harsh. Uh, it is approved by the FDA. So it is used very commonly. Sulfates are not really liked in the curly hair community is because sulfates are harsh and the harsher anything is on your scalp or your hair, your hair gets frizzier. Curly and wavy hair already deals with an excessive amount of dryness, frizz and a lack of moisture. We also try to avoid that excessive frizz in turn and that's kind of what we're hoping by avoiding sulfates in our products. Are sulfates important to use and what sulfates should I be looking out for in my hair care? Let's answer these questions. Sulfates are actually okay to use once in a blue moon. We think that as long as you're using a sulfate shampoo or this is mostly in terms of hair care. So if you're using a sulfate shampoo once in a month or maybe once in two weeks to three weeks, that's totally fine. A lot of people sweat a lot, have build up, are prone to dandruff or maybe have a lot of flaking. You can use sulfates to help drain your scalp of any build up from pollution and it really just depends on lifestyle as well. And if you tend to swim in perhaps chlorine or the sea, then you'll have a lot of hard water build up as well. And sometimes sulfates are really great to cleanse your scalp of that because it helps your hair grow better, look better and feel a lot lighter and less weighed down. Okay, so now to make this a little bit easier, here are the sulfates that are very harsh. Here's a list of them. And here's a list of sulfates that are mild and you might find in your shampoos and that are okay to use. So you can take a screenshot of this page. You can write these down or the next time that you are buying a shampoo, you can refer to these mild sulfates versus these harsher sulfates and make a better decision for the shampoo that you're choosing. Now, sarcosinate is actually the milder cleansing agent that we use in our cleansing shampoo and our moisturizing shampoo. Its base is of coconut and sugarcane. That's where the cleansing agent is derived from. It's a very, very mild agent. So it's safe to use on babies, on very sensitive scalps, which is the cleansing agent that we believe in the most. But at the end of the day, to end this debate a little bit, if you are confused, yes, sulfates can definitely be used and they are a part of a lot of people's daily personal hygiene whether it be in their face wash, their body wash or their hair wash and in terms of hair we think that if you have wavy or curly hair then you should use less of sulfates so use them rarely, use them once in a month if you really need to and you genuinely feel that your hair has too much product build up, it feels heavy, it feels like your scalp hurts or your scalp is overly oily or if you've been out and about a lot and you feel that the pollution has definitely affected your hair, your hair might feel dusty or dirty, you can definitely use sulfates in all of these cases. But again, just try to limit the use and you know, your hair will definitely thank you for it. One other thing that you should keep in mind is that not all surfactants are sulfates. Some sulfates are not surfactants and especially the mild cleansing agents do not come in the category of a surfactant. They are simply very, very mild cleansing agents that have a sulfate in their chemical name. So don't confuse any ingredient on the back of your label for a sulfate. Uh, if you really want to find out something about an ingredient that is bothering you, definitely Google the ingredient and you'll be able to see whether it's actually a sulfate or if sulfate is just a part of its ingredient uh, name. Sometimes that is the chemical name that is given to a product and it's not actually a sulfate. I'll give you one example. So Behitrimonium methosulfate is actually a conditioning agent and it's a very popular, great conditioning agent that is silicone free and it's used in most Curly Girl Method products. However, it does have methosulfate towards the end of its name, so it can be confusing. Just something for you to know and watch out for. 
If you like this video, then make sure to subscribe to our channel. Just click the subscribe button below so that you never miss out on any future videos we have on curly and wavy hair and just tips and tricks to have the best hair that you've ever had. Also, if you want exclusive tips and tricks and techniques, then make sure to go to www.fixmygirls.com and subscribe to our mailing list to receive some really exclusive and official tips and tricks from us and our team. Now I want to turn it over to you guys. If you have any suggestions, questions or recommendations of sulfate free shampoos or maybe mild cleansing shampoos or just any opinions, please comment down below and share with us and we'll be here to participate in the conversation. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.